and uh, uh, Alexandra Maskelin. And uh, for evolution of uh, the first time, a degree three cohomological invariant were investigated and uh, in several papers and uh, many properties are uh, are known in this work uh, we investigate the case of unitary evolution which uh, which correspond to uh, groups of uh, outer chip a uh, the goal is to use the Ross invariant to define a relative uh, degree to cohomological invariant for pair of unit for pair of unitary evolution having the same uh, discriminant algebra. Um, um, okay. Um, to motivate the talk, I start with uh, the Arason invariant before I give some um, uh, some notation. Uh, in this talk, I always suppose the characteristic of the base field is different from two. Uh, this assumption is not uh, uh, necessary at all. Uh, I, I just do this uh, this hypothesis to simplify uh, uh, the talk. And also, I adopt the, this usual uh, notation for Andalua homology uh, for uh, the absolute group of uh, the field I yeah okay uh, by Arason invariant uh, we mean uh, this uh, map that uh, associates to a three four system form uh, this uh, map to ABC we associate the uh, proper product of A, B, um, C. And uh, this uh, map extended to a group of homomorphism from I3 to uh, this Dalua group, this Dalua group homology. And uh, it is known by Mercury F that uh, A3 of F is the uh, set of uh, is a subgroup of the wheat ring, the wheat ring of F of all quadratic form with a, a trivial, uh, with a dimension, uh, with even dimension. That means the dimension it is row mod two and uh, a trivial uh, discriminant and a trivial uh, with deep invariant. And, uh, you know, the, the, the dimension of the quadratic form, uh, the discriminant and the uh, bit and the Clifford invariant are uh, uh, are invariant of the quadratic form, and in general, this um, this invariants are noted by e zero, e zero uh, e one of q and e two. Um, uh, since uh, algebra with evolution are a generalization of uh, quadratic forms, uh, one may try to define this invariant for algebra with uh, evolution. Um, yeah. Okay, now uh, the invariant E0, E1, and E2 have a, a similar uh, form in, in the uh, context of algebra with orthogonal evolution. Uh, let add sigma is a central simple algebra with orthogonal evolution and uh, under some Assumption we can define ISO E1 and E2. In fact, uh, E0 is just the dimension mod 2 of uh, the dimension, the dimension, uh, the, the mod 2 class of the class of the dimension of the, of the, uh, the algebra, the algebra R. And uh, E1 is uh, uh, just. Uh, 
the discriminate of uh, the evolution. Uh, and uh, uh, we can, in the context of algebra with orthogonal evolution, we can define E1 when uh, E0 is uh, trivial and E2 uh, is defined when uh, E1 is uh, also trivial because E2 is uh, the Clifford uh, class of the A sigma. And uh, 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 there's invariant as such that if the algebra with orthogonal evolution is split, uh, then the E the E i of sigma is just E i of Q. For uh, uh, E is uh, zero one and and two. And uh, the context of uh, a split case, in the split case, we can also define E three of uh, sigma, but uh, E three of sigma can uh, extend to the uh, framework of uh, uh, no split keys uh, by a result of uh, Eva Bayer, Parimala, and Antinkina. Uh, there is no E3 uh, for uh, uh, E3 of, uh, of algebra with orthogonal evolution in the model of quadratic form. Uh, however, uh, we can use the Rust invariant to, to give. Uh, in a relative invariant for algebra with orthogonal evolution. And uh, uh, when the algebra uh, carries in a hyperbolic evolution, uh, you can uh, uh, get uh, the absolute, the Arason analog in this context. Now, um, we, in general, we can uh, try to do the same thing in uh, when we have a, a, a unitary evolution. Uh, for example, uh, when uh, d, d tau is a, a unitary evolution, when uh, t is the center of d, and the two is a unitary evolution on d, uh, in, in this talk, we always propose that T is a, a field. So, and uh, uh, iota is the unique uh, neutral F automorphism of T. And if uh, we denote by uh, D tau, this D tau, um, D tau is the discriminant algebra of the D tau. Uh, the, the discriminant algebra is only defined when uh, the degree of D is even. So we can represent D tau with this form, in this form of the endomorphism of this from vector space Z and uh, uh, add H is the adjacent evolution of H. And uh, we can always associate with uh, H and quadratic form called the ja is Jacobson trace. And uh, this trace form uh, determines uniquely the isomorph isometric class of H. Uh, that means uh, H is uh, isotro isotropic or hyperbolic when exactly uh, QH is uh, isotropic or hyperbolic. And uh, in this case, we can, in this please case, we can define uh, for, for I, E I of add H to be just the Arason invariant of Q H. Uh, for example, uh, if uh, N is a uh, uh, 2M, uh, and uh, the discriminant algebra is a uh, uh, trivial. Uh, we may define the Q of QH by the, uh, we can define the H, uh, E3 of tau to be the Arason invariant of QH. And this construction is a uh, uh, functorial. That means it's connected with a uh, fairly extension in the And so, uh, as 
for uh, orthogonal involution, uh, this E3 for uh, split uh, unitary involution can extend to uh, uh, to no split uh, algebra with unitary involution in general, uh, because um, uh, the technique is maybe is the same as well, is very it's not very far from what we do in orthogonal case. Um, uh, the, the philosophies of the proof is similarly uh, for orthogonal case. Uh, we, um, we, we just need to check uh, some formal, to, to check that some formal properties are not agreed. Uh, in this context, in this case, uh, the difficulty is to adapt arguments on F to argument because on orthogonal involution, we have some argument on the center of the algebra, which is F. And here, the center of the algebra is T. We just need to adapt uh, some uh, argument to uh, uh, from F uh, to T. Uh, it is not a, a very uh, easy, but uh, the philosophy is exactly uh, the, the same. Okay. So, uh, um, our construction, we, you, you, you just prove that for uh, if the index of B is four, uh, you can, you can extend it one, uh, E, E three. But, uh, for more general uh, context, uh, for example, for N is zero mod eight. Uh, we don't know exactly uh, how it work, but in this case, uh, you can give uh, a, a proof. You can show that E3 uh, can extend to, uh, uh, to no split case. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, how one can uh, construct an relative invariant uh, for unitary evolution. In general, the technique is to use the Rost invariant. Uh, for this, uh, I briefly recall the Rost invariant to refresh memories. And we also uh, do this assumption. Uh, this notation uh, to simplify uh, to simplify the talk. No, we, we did not buy H1 of FG, uh, this uh, Galois homology uh, of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, the, the absolute Galois group of, of F, which is a no obedian uh, homology. So, uh, a, a theorem of Rost uh, say that uh, for an absolute simple, simply connected group G, uh, the, this group uh, is finite sequence with canonical general law, uh, which is called the Rost invariant. And uh, in this talk, I'm, I'm going to, to um, to consider the case where G is uh, SU of B tau. Uh, SU of B tau is the special unitary group. Uh, I mean, uh, the uh, subgroup of a unitary group of uh, reduced reduce norm one. Yeah. SU of B tau, the subgroup of a unitary group of reduced norm one. Now, how it work? Uh, we give uh, let uh, tau zero and tau are two uh, unitary evolution on this. 
that we assume that the discriminant algebra of tau zero and tau are the same in the Brouwer group of F. Uh, this construction uh, appears in Tignol's Hyderabad talk and uh, in Alexander and Alexander Maskelin thesis, uh, which was done under uh, Jean Pierre Tignol's supervision. But uh, in our work, you in their work, uh, they suppose that the, uh, the, the discriminant algebra, algebra are trivial. In this uh, talk, we only suppose that uh, the tau, uh, d tau zero and d tau are the same. The discriminant algebra are the same in the Brouwer group of of of, of M. Now uh, we we recall that the h one of f p u d tau is in a one to one correspondence uh, between the isomorphism the f isomorphism classes of a triple d by d prime tau prime and t where t uh, phi is an identification with the center of uh, d prime and uh, uh, d prime tau prime is an uh, 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 tau prime is a unitary evolution of, of uh, a unitary evolution on d prime and degree of a D prime is the same as uh, the degree of, of D. Then we have this uh, one to one correspondence where TGU uh, of D tau is just the auto key automorphism of D tau. Now, uh, if uh, we, for the involution tau different from tau's rule, uh, is given it corresponding it's corresponding to a cohomological class eta uh, corresponding with b tau and the identity map uh, because we have the same uh, evolution we have we have uh, the different evolution on uh, the same algebra d so the natural way to consider this this uh, identification is to take the identity and uh, uh, we consider this exact sequence uh, between SU of D tau, uh, D tau zero and TU of D tau zero. And uh, uh, mu N of T is just the center of SU of D tau zero. Well, the, uh, this, uh, Exact sequence uh, induces in uh, cohomology uh, the following uh, exact uh, the, the, the following sequence. And uh, here we have uh, uh, eta, a class eta here. And uh, we want to understand uh, the image of eta by the connecting map. Uh, delta. So um, by a twisting uh, argument, we can check that uh, it is not uh, difficult to see uh, that uh, uh, the image of eta under uh, this connecting map is the different of the kit classes of uh, the kit the class of SU of D tau zero minus the kit class of SU of D tau. And uh, uh, this group H2 of F of mu n key uh, is computed in a, a, a paper of Poliotelian, uh, Philippe uh, Gilles, and Primala, uh, namely. Uh, if n is old, uh, this group uh, H2 of F mu n of T is exactly uh, the, the kernel of this correction map. And uh, 
if n is even, uh, H2 is a subgroup, uh, can be identified with a subgroup of Brouwer of uh, times Brouwer key. And uh, under this identification, uh, we can check that uh, the tit case of uh, SU of B tau, tau zero and SU of B tau are the same. The tit class of this uh, two group are the same. It is exactly uh, the class of B. And uh, if N is old, and if N is uh, uh, even uh, the tit class of SU of B tau zero is a uh, discopal uh, uh, discriminator algebra of tau zero and the class and the Brouwer class of B and the tit class of SU of B tau is a uh, 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 the uh, discriminator algebra of tau and the B in uh, if n is even in if n is even uh, in both cases uh, the uh, image of eta uh, under the connecting map is trivial so uh, this eta is liftable uh, you can lift uh, eta to h1 of f su b tau zero and here this group uh, is uh, 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 in this group we can compute uh, the, the rest uh, because su of b tau zero is simply is simple sim is simple simply connected now but uh, for eta living here, uh, the connecting the image of eta under the connecting map is trivial, and we did not buy a key uh, the lift of eta. So this lift is not uh, unique, but it is unique uh, up uh, to the action of the center of H one of the the center. And uh, uh, to to define a map from H one, uh, to define the worst invariant here, you have to uh, uh, you, you you divide by uh, the rust of of the center. Yeah. Now, uh, but. Uh, we don't know exactly uh, the, the rust of the center, but we know that uh, this, uh, this image is included in uh, the core restriction of uh, K cocked B if N is old, and it is included in uh, F times uh, the uh, Brouwer class of the discriminator algebra cocked the uh, plus this core restriction if n is even so yeah now we can define uh we define the relative invariant of uh of two uh, with respect to tau of tau with respect to tau zero uh, to be uh uh the rust of uh, key where key is uh, a, a lift of eta and eta corresponds uh, to uh, a, a class in H1 of PGU of beta zero. So we define the relative invariant to be uh, the class of uh, the class of. Uh, the rust of key in uh, this group if uh, n is old and uh, uh, e3 uh, tau zero of theta is the uh, rust of key in uh, this uh, 
in this group is a, a, a big question if uh, n is is even now uh, as we can expect when the algebra with unitary involution is split and uh, when we denote by h0 and h uh, that at h0 h0 and h are two Hermitian form on v uh, such that the two form have the same uh, discriminant and uh, we if we do not buy tau zero and tau, the adjuvant, the associated the adjuvant evolution, and uh, we can compute uh, the relative uh, uh, the relative invariant of tau with respect to uh, tau zero, and we show that it is exactly uh, the e uh, three of q h minus q uh, q q H zero. So, because uh, in this case, uh, uh, the in in the odd case there are no discriminant algebra. So for this region, we have you have nothing here as question. But if n is even, uh, it is a class of E. A tree of h uh, qh minus qh zero in this in this question and in particular if we take uh, uh, if the base point is uh, if the base point tau zero is hyperbolic uh, we obtain exactly uh, the Arason invariant of q uh, QH, which is exactly uh, each uh, E three of tau in this split case. Uh, so uh, that means uh, the Ross invariant in this uh, uh, in this context uh, generalize uh, the 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 Ross invariant uh, the etwa in the unitary case because we have something which is defined in the no split case and it uh, when the algebra with uh, unitary involution carries and uh, hyperbolic involution it, it, it gives uh, it gives exactly uh, the roster invariant now uh, uh, Now we have uh, the rust invariant. Uh, it is natural to, to, to study some uh, properties of uh, this invariant. Um, in, uh, in the uh, papers, paper, we show that uh, this invariant uh, classified algebra with uh, a unitary involution in degree four uh, using the exp exceptional isomorphism uh, E3 and G3. And uh, in this, uh, when the discriminant algebra is trivial, but when the discriminant algebra is not trivial, uh, we have some classification uh, under some uh, technical hypothesis. But, um, I'm going to study uh, some uh, properties uh, to show you some properties in degree uh, eight and uh, index four. Uh, uh, before this, uh, I recall some uh, some results. Well, uh, let uh, D be a bicoterminion algebra over T with trivial coarsation. Um, 
or we can associate a cohomological invariant to D, uh, which, which is in this quotient. Uh, in fact, uh, this is a result of, of mine. Uh, I obtained this result in my PhD uh, thesis. And uh, this invariant, uh, small delta Q, small delta of D uh, is uh, exactly uh, defined by the E3 of S star of phi, where S star is the Charlot transfers of uh, the form. And uh, uh, I showed that uh, if uh, this invariant is trivial, this invariant is trivial if and uh, only if uh, the, uh, the quaternion D has a descent up to isomorphism. Uh, that means we can find if uh, small delta of D is trivial, uh, we can find, and uh, D is a uh, big quaternion algebra of a key, we can find an, uh, a D0 over F uh, such that uh, D is exactly is isomorphic to D0, D0. Uh, Transfer, transfer curve. And uh, the main theorem is uh, uh, the following. Yeah. And we suppose that uh, B is M2 of D and uh, uh, for some big quaternion algebra D. And uh, if B tau is totally decomposable, I mean uh, totally decomposable mean that B tau is a tensor product of a, a quaternion algebra with a unitary evolution that is uh, totally decomposable. I mean by totally decomposable, de decomposable uh, the decomposition of B with uh, a, a, a tensor product of three quaternion algebra with unitary evolution. If uh, B tau is uh, totally decomposable, then uh, the discriminant of D is trivial. The discriminant algebra is trivial. And uh, uh, the uh, E, E3 hyperbolic of tau is exactly uh, the class, the class of the small delta of D in this question. Now, um, this is very interesting uh, because uh, 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 we can, it, 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 uh, it allows uh, to show that um, the hyperbolic evolution is not is not in generally uh, totally uh, decomposable. Uh, so, well, uh, the first uh, consequence of this theorem uh, is uh, the following: we uh, it, uh, we can deduce from this theorem that the invariant, uh, if the base point is the hyperbolic involution, the E3 of hyper, E3 hyperbolic doesn't characterize hyperbolic involution in the beginning, uh, in degree eight. To see this, uh, we consider the field T, small T, and a big quaternion algebra over T. And we 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 choose uh, this B quaternion such, such that uh, this B quaternion remains uh, a division algebra over a T prime, prime small T prime, which is an uh, uh, quadratic extension 
of of, of p and uh, uh, we consider this to see f and a capital q which is an uh, quadratic extension of of f and uh, uh, the the uh, the Hermitian form uh, one minus t uh, t is an indeterminant over uh, over small t. This form uh, is not this generic form is not uh, this generic form is not hyperbolic, but it e three hyperbolic is trivial. Uh, that means exactly that. Uh, that means exactly the E3 hyperbolic that does not characterize hyperbolic evolution in the degree, in the degree H. Now, uh, another uh, consequence of this theorem uh, is uh, the following ones. Yeah. Uh, we always assume that uh, D is M2 of G, where G uh, is a bipaternion over, over T with trivial uh, coarextrition. So, uh, on this algebra, we have an, uh, an, uh, an hyperbolic evolution tau uh, which is unique. Uh, yeah, this evolution tau zero is uh, totally uh, decomposable if and uh, only if the invariant uh, small uh, delta of D vanishes. Um, yeah. Uh, 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 this because of uh, uh, okay before giving an example uh, this corollar allow to show that uh, the hyperbolic unitary evolution is not in general uh, totally uh, decomposable and I think this is uh, a very counterintuitive. Um, so for the proof, I, yeah, before the proof, I can show you, uh, okay, I, I, I give you uh, the proof. Uh, for the proof, assume that tau zero is uh, totally uh, decomposable uh, by the propositions uh, E3, hyperbolic of tau zero is a uh, small delta of D uh, because uh, tau zero is uh, hyperbolic and uh, we take the relative M M the relative invariant with respect to the uh, base point, which is also hyperbolic. This, this is trivial. And, uh, this is exactly uh, uh, the small delta of of D, and uh, by the propositions, this is equal to to this. But since uh, this tau zero and tau tau zero is hyperbolic, uh, this is trivial. Uh, for the converse. Assume that a small delta of D is trivial. Uh, the triviality of a small delta of D means that uh, D has a descent of F up to isomorphism. That means we can write uh, D as D0 uh, tensor T where D0 is defined on the, on if. Uh, since uh, the hyperbolic evolution is unique, uh, we can write 
uh, B tau zero as the M2 of F gamma, where gamma is a, a canonical involution on M2 of F, which is hyperbolic because this algebra is split. And uh, we take an arbitrary involution on, on D zero. But uh, D zero is uh, a bicoternion algebra uh, over F. We can decompose um, D zero and we take an arbitrary uh, involution on uh, we can take an arbitrary uh, arbitrary involution on each factor of B zero, and we get a decomposition of of tau zero. Uh, now, I give you an example. Now, let C is a tensor product of three quaternion algebra. Uh, and uh, uh, such that C contain a quadratic uh, extension of F, such that there is no quaternion algebra, subalgebra of C containing a uh, key. Uh, now, uh, such an example exists. Uh, I, 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 I did uh, this construction in my uh, PhD thesis, thesis, and uh, this example uh, is due to, to Mercury F. Uh, uh, it is a private communication uh, between uh, Mercury F and uh, Jean Pierre Tignol. Uh, and, uh, and uh, a tensor product of three quaternion algebra uh, that contain and, uh, uh, a quadratic extension. And this quadratic extension is in no quaternion subalgebra of C. Uh, so C over T is isom isomorphic, isomorphic to M2 of D. Uh, for some d quaternion d over over g and i claim that uh, this d has no descent uh, to f up uh, isomorphism because if we have any as the form d is d zero uh, tensor t for some uh, d quaternion d zero over f we can write C as a tensor product of D0 and H, uh, where T is in H, which is, uh, uh, which is impossible by hypothesis. So it follows that uh, the, 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 the small delta of D is not trivial. I recall that. A uh, small delta of D is trivial if only if uh, D has a decomposition of the form D is D0 uh, tensor T, where D0 is uh, defined on, on it. Uh, since this D, can't, uh, this D can't decompose as this form, uh, then a small delta of D is, is not trivial. As, as consequence, uh, the hyperbolic involution of D uh, is not totally decomposable because of uh, the proposition. The proposition say exactly say that uh, 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 you say that uh, no. Okay, right. Uh, the, the hyperbolic uh, by the corollary, uh, we know that uh, the D, the small delta of the, uh, the evolution is totally decomposable uh, if only if this class is, is trivial. So uh, we have an uh, example where 
we have no descent on F and uh, that imply that this imply that uh, the totally this uh, the hyperbolic involution because we can uh, we can the tau zero is uh, an hyperbolic involution of m2 of d so this uh, the upper body involution is not uh, totally uh, decomposable and uh, also we have the a3 of hyperbolic a3 uh, hyperbolic of two with uh, the small delta of d which is not which is not trivial now I am going to give uh, the main step of uh, the proof of proposition two. The propositions I say that, uh, yeah, I can. Uh, I can show you again the proposition. You say uh, the theorem. Uh, if B tau is totally decomposable, then the discriminant algebra is trivial. And uh, E3 hyperbolic of tau is the class of uh, uh, is a small delta of D in this question. Now, okay. Uh, assume that B tau satisfy the condition of the propositions. So in particular, um, you can write uh, B tau as a tensor product of three quaternion algebra with a unitary evolution. And uh, uh, it, is, uh, known, it is known that H a Q I a tau I can be written as uh, H I uh, gamma I tensor uh, this extension with uh, if you yota i mean uh, we can find this in the book on solution uh, the uh, unitary evolution on a quadratic uh, and on a quaternion algebra always has a decent a simplex this a simplectic descent of this form. If tau is tau i is tau i is um, a unitary evolution on q i, you can always write this algebra as this form. So uh, we can we can write uh, the the algebra B tau can be written as a C uh, gamma times uh, tensor product T iota, where uh, C gamma is the tensor the tensor product of the three quaternion algebra with uh, symplectic evolutions. In particular, if B tau is, uh, uh, has uh, this form, we have a formula to compute uh, the discriminant algebra. And in particular, the discriminant algebra, we can show that the discriminant algebra is, is trivial. That is for, for tau. And the second step is uh, to show that uh, the hyperbolic involution tau zero um, 
always admits a symplectic descent. It is not uh, very trivial, but uh, you can prove that uh, tau zero has also a symplectic, des a symplectic descent uh, to, to, uh, to C to the same algebra C. Okay. And when we have there's two descent, uh, we also have some comparative relation. If uh, the evolution, evolution tau zero and tau has symplectic descent, uh, we showed that uh, in the paper, in our work, that we have these relations on these two invariant in, uh, in this group. And uh, since uh, the involution gamma is totally decomposable, uh, it follow by a result of uh, Garibaldi, Parimala, and Tignol that the E, the E three, the E three of gamma is trivial, and. Uh, it's just a reminder to prove that. So we have this uh, uh, this term is a uh, trivial. We have just to compute this, and uh, that is exactly uh, what I did in my in one of my paper in uh, 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 two thousand fourteen. I show. I show I showed that uh, in these uh, situations, uh, this e uh, three of gamma zero is exactly uh, the small delta of, of this. and uh, I think I, I ask a question. So okay. I mean, <laughs> uh, did you did you test the theory of of certain uh, of certain say cohomological dimension three fields and nice uh, I mean like uh, you know uh, uh, higher local fields or uh, sorry uh, can you so I repeat my question yeah I mean did, did you apply to, to to what you said to I mean this general framework to 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 concrete fields I mean like you know. Uh, uh, purely transcendent fields or higher local fields or uh, to uh, have no. a concrete incarnation? Uh, no, you just uh, uh, study uh, the property in general case. Um, you have no statistical, statistical example for this kind of uh, this kind of field. You have um, invariants analogous to. Uh, E2 and E1, so is that uh, uh, trivial in this case? E2 and E1. Okay, uh, now uh, as for orthogonal evolution, uh, we can uh, define uh, e, uh, e, because E0, E0 is just uh, uh, the dimension modulo two, and uh, uh, E1, is uh, the discriminant, uh, uh, the discriminant of uh, uh, the evolution, and uh, uh, and E two uh, maybe if we, we write uh, uh, the tau I uh, um, well sort of the spirit of of what you're doing seems to be to recover some some parts of the you know of 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 the wet ring mm -hmm. um, and these invariants in the in this in this wider context of um, central simple algebras was involution yeah uh, and so I'm just wondering so you showed that e three already is is only partially recovered. Um, and I'm just wondering how much, how much of this theory can be built up um, 
how much of it survives when one passes to from from quadratic forms or Hermitian forms to um, central simple algebras with involution. Uh, well, uh, in uh, in the uh, in for quadratic form we have some invariant uh, e zero e one e two and e three, and we try to define the similar invariant for. Uh, uh, in the case of orthogonal evolution, we have also E E0 and uh, E1 if E0 is trivial. And uh, if E1 is trivial, we can define also E, E2. But uh, these constrictions, uh, we, can, we can't define exactly E3 uh, for orthogonal evolution uh, in the model of uh, uh, Arason invariant, but we use uh, the Rost invariant to construct an uh, E3 uh, in the no split case. But uh, if the algebra, uh, if we have an uh, orthogonal uh, and uh, an hyperbolic evolution on the algebra, we can uh, the algebra we can recover. Uh, the E3 of Arason. And uh, in the similar way, uh, we do the same thing for unitary evolution. So for unitary evolution in the split type, because in the beginning, I explained what can be uh, the general theory, theory in the split case. We construct uh, in uh, this case, uh, 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 in the care of unitary evolution, the E E0, which is the dimension, uh, E1, which is the discriminant of the Hermitian form. The discriminant of the Hermitian form is uh, F uh, modulo the norms of K. And uh, if uh, the discriminant, if the dimension is trivial, and uh, this, the dimension is uh, even, and uh, the discriminant is also trivial. Uh, we can uh, define E2 as uh, uh, the discriminant algebra. And uh, if the discriminant algebra is also trivial, we can define, we, we, we can try to define an E3. I showed that this is not always possible if the algebra is not split. If the algebra is split, we can do. But if it is not split, we can to do this construction. So to get something that is similar to the orthogonal case, uh, we try to use the we use the rust, the rust invariant to construct an, an relative E3, uh, E3 uh, that recover. Uh, the uh, general case. Uh, I mean. Okay. The confusion comes from the fact that the discriminant of Hermitian form, uh, it really gives rise to a degree, an invariant in uh, power two. So that's the discriminant class. And there's no degree one invariant. So in fact, the analog of E1 would be trivial in this situation. Because if you take a Hermitian form, if you take its stress quadratic form, uh, if you start from a form of even dimension, you always get something with trivial discriminant. So this is why it's a bit confusing. There's not discriminant invariant. There's no E1. E1 is always trivial. And the discriminant of Hermitian form corresponds to E2, I think, in this situation. Yeah. So. Thanks. Thank you, Anne. OK. So maybe a last question, and, and, and we stop. Yeah? I, I don't know. Okay, so uh, thank you again, uh, Demba. <laughs> we clap online, and uh, and we resume 